Hey, welcome to BA211, Principles of Financial Accounting. This is the intro video. My name is Darren Bell. I'm going to be your instructor this term. Uh, the main goal of this video is to walk you through some of the first steps you're going to need, need to take in the class and to give you some tips on things to focus on to help improve your grade and get you off to a good start. So first thing you're going to do is go on Canvas. So here I am. You can kind of see on here, of course, you're going to click on the Start Here button to begin with. These buttons across the top here, Start Here, this is going to, we're going to walk through this uh, together. Coursework, this is really the modules page that shows you kind of a linear uh, way to walk through the class from beginning to end. And then Mr. Bell, of course, this is my uh, page with my information on it. So if you want to go and uh, learn a little bit about me and look at office hours and those type of things, uh, look at Mr. Bell. All right, so let's do the Start Here button. Okay, so just this is the getting started kind of module, right? So we're gonna I'm gonna post the video I'm making right now here at the very beginning, and uh, one thing to make sure you get set from the beginning is your textbook. So the textbook in this class, you have a couple of options. You can take the, um, you can go here to this link at the bottom of the textbook section and click on this. It'll take you so you can register for the online textbook tool that's called Connect. It's through McGraw-Hill. Um, you're going to need this no matter what. Um, you can do the hard copy book with the code for Connect. You can get that at the bookstore if you want to. If you want the hard copy book, that's fine. Uh, if you want to just do the code, it comes with an ebook as well, and so you can possibly there are students that can go through the course without the hard copy book that's fine as well so this is going to be good for just so you know uh, the code that you're going to buy now uh, should be good for a year and it's hopefully you can fit the principles of financial accounting and the managerial accounting class in at the, the same so you, you can just have one fee for those two things so one thing to note is as you do the uh, this code here you're going to register for it and um, you will have the opportunity to either put your code in by the code or you can do a 14-day free trial until you get financing set to be able to do the code so I would suggest at the very beginning right now just click through do the 14-day free trial and um, you can enter your code later um, and so just get that set now so that's going to be at the very beginning with this textbook you're going to be able to do all of the assignments here on this next section so uh, the assignments for each week you're going to have a study assignment you're going to have an, uh, an exercise assignment here and you're going to have a quiz that's going to be for each week each week we're going to cover at least one chapter some weeks will be two chapters so um, that's going to be kind of the set that each week you're going to have one of these things up at the beginning and the one thing I want to talk to you about is something new for this term so a lot of students uh, learn um, well a lot of students dislike the study assignment I'll just lay it out there they don't like the study assignment they say it takes too long um, it's really traditional study so if you like to just get into the textbook uh, take notes and kind of learn actually learn in the class through uh, reading and, and uh, kind of quizzing yourself uh, that's the study assignment so the study assignment is complete once you go through it and you answer all the questions and mastered all of those uh, questions that they have along with the study assignment so it does take some time uh, I think it's really good I would suggest you go in and try it out the alternative though that I'm putting in place for this term is an in-class quiz it doesn't take the place of the quiz here uh, if there's a quiz for the for the week you still have to do that quiz but there is an in-class quiz that's going to be an alternative to the study assignment meaning if you take the in-class quiz uh, and get a good grade on that uh, better than your study assignment or if you didn't do the study assignment that week I'll replace the grade right so whatever you get the best grade on the study assignment or the in-class quiz I'll take the best one and use that for your final grade so I'm not going to take both both points right it's going to be one or the other uh, it's an altern alternative uh, the way you take the in-class quiz is you need to show up 
on time for the first uh, class meeting of the week. So whether that's Monday, whether that's Tuesday, if we don't have a class at the beginning of the week, but it's going to be maybe a Wednesday or Thursday, show up for the first in-class meeting of that week. And then uh, I'll have the code ready for you, and you can take that quiz at the beginning of the class. It's going to be a code I provide for the first 15 minutes of the class for you to take that quiz. To do well on the quiz, you're going to have to be prepared for it. So you are going to have to review, I would assume, unless you already magically have the counting information in your brain, you're going to have to review the chapter and get to know what's in there to be able to do well on the quiz. So if you want to do that and just take the quiz and be done with it, or if you want to work through the study assignment, it's up to you. If you have any more questions on this, reach out. Let me know if you have any questions, and um, we'll work through it. Okay. So the exercise assignment, we're going to do this in class for the most part. We're going to review that. That's going to be a lot of time we're going to spend in class because for the most part, lecturing uh, for accounting stuff isn't super exciting. So I'll just tell you that. But we do work through a lot of, um, do a lot of hands-on exercise assignments that will be more uh, hopefully interactive and, and help you out there. Uh, then, of course, there's a quiz for... Um, each uh, week if there is in unit two I don't think there's there's some weeks we don't have a quiz uh, and then exam so there's three exams for the class uh, unit one two and three uh, the exams are going to be ready when you're ready for them you have three attempts at each exam so you can go in and take the exam if you don't do well I would suggest you review a little bit figure out what you're missing Go, then go back in and take the exam again. If you need your third attempt, you have that third attempt there as well. The exams are going to be ready for you, and you can take them anywhere, anytime. And so they're open book, open notes. Um, and so that's going to be what the exams are. We also have a financial analysis assignment that's going to be due this, this term. Uh, Midterm, there will be a draft that's due. I just need to know that you have a, a company picked out that you're going to do the financial analysis on. It has to be a, a public company, publicly traded in the U.S., in the U.S., a public U.S. company. And um, then at the end of the term, the, that's when your final analysis is due. So we'll talk about, about that more in class, and you can research that. At the end of this getting started, there's this little link you can click on, or you can click next here. Go and take the welcome quiz. Uh, I'll just tell you, to take the welcome quiz, it's also going to be helpful to flip over here to the syllabus and look at the syllabus and schedule and look into that, and that'll help you answer some of the questions on the welcome quiz, um, So just so you know. All right, um, going back to the home course, we're going to go in here. You can either go to modules or coursework. And this is kind of laid out, right? So this is the getting started that we just went through. There's lecture slides here, so if you need those to take notes, or they're going to be useful. I'll use them a little bit in class, um, and but they are super good information in those lecture slides. Uh, unit one, of course, here it is right here, all the way down through here. Uh, exam one, there's the link there. Financial analysis draft, that'll be about midterm here. This this uh, during this spring term, it's going to be due in May. If you're in a fall term, it'll be different, but it's about the end of the fifth, uh, sixth week there. So look at the course schedule for that when things are going to be due. Um, uh, unit two again, we don't see any quizzes in, in unit two. We just see study assignments and exercise assignments for unit two. That's to help us streamline a little bit there. Unit three, we're back to doing the three study assignment, exercise, and quiz. And then that'll be our last exam, uh, the exam three to finish up. One thing you'll note is that for this course, there are all the assignments, but the in-class quizzes, right, they have specific due dates. They're going to be that day that they're set. or And the financial analysis project have specific days that they're due. Everything else is due at the end of the term. On uh, In this case, it's going to be the last uh the last day of the term basically is when they're going to be due and so that one um, don't wait to the end to do them of course follow this guide do them in order you're going to need to do uh, them in order 
one um, set, one study assignment, one exercise, one quiz uh, per week. You're going to need to go through those sets. For the first four weeks, for example, it's going to be a chapter a week. You get into the next unit and it may be a couple chapters a week for some of the weeks. So make sure you're doing those as we go along. But there's a little bit of flexibility. So this course is built around kind of mastery-based learning, which means that you can flex a little bit, kind of maybe if one thing's going to take you a little longer, you take a little longer to get that done, and then there are, hopefully there will be some other things that you can do to get done quicker. Everything's due at the end of the term, so spread it out and do it uh, as quickly as possible, trying to get to the mastery level of the, some of these concepts that we're covering in, during the term. So. Um, hopefully this makes sense and helps you out. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. We can uh, meet during office hours, during class, of course, or we can set up a separate Zoom meeting if you want to set up a Zoom meeting. Reach out. And uh, one of the main mantras in this class is don't suffer in silence. In, in, in other words, if you're having a hard time with something, reach out to me. Let me know what you're having a hard time with uh, and ask for help, and I can definitely help you out. So thank you, have a good uh, day and a good term and we will talk to you soon.